Hello everybody, tis I, the Rumpled One. Book review. How do you kill 11 million people? It's written by Andy Andrews. And it's subtitled, Why the Truth Matters More Than You Think. I can actually read this book to you, the first part, the actual text, in about 15 minutes, but I think that would violate copyright laws, so I don't want to do that. And then the second half of the book are questions and answers. But one of the things that he points out is something that most people don't realize on a conscious level. They might know it deep down inside or subconscious or unconscious, but they don't, it's, it's something that's not in the forefront. Do you realize that governments have killed more people than just about anything else? Just think about it for a second. Name of the book, How Do You Kill 11 Million People? And so, you're probably wondering, why wasn't it 10 million or 12 million or 5 million? Well, according to the book, the Nazis killed 11,283,000. But that number is only the um, institutionalized killing. Um, it doesn't include the 5.2 million German civilians and military Terry, you know, that were killed during the war. And it doesn't include the 28,736,000 Europeans killed during World War II as a result of Hitler's aggressive government policies. And he says, you know, we could have looked at Cambodia, where between 70, 1975 and 1979, Three million were killed out of a population of eight million. Or he says we could look at the 61.9 million number of people that were killed, murdered by the government of the Soviet Union. Can do those numbers? Do, do you see the enormity here? These are governments, governments doing this. It's just absurd. But the thing is, I'll tell you, it says, how do you kill 11 million people? What's the answer to that question? You lie to them. That's right, you lie to them. So, Think about what's been going on here in the U.S. of A. We've been getting lied to repeatedly over the past, what, decade or two or three or four or ten? Repeatedly. We all know things aren't getting better. I, it, okay, I was born in the 50s. When I was growing up, you were taught to, you know, respect government, you know, respect the police force. You know, you look to them for protection. You weren't afraid of them, and you never thought that they would do you harm. No, 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 that, that wasn't even a thought. It wasn't even in the consciousness. Today, it's totally different. Do you realize how many federal agencies there are that, you know, to just put their thumb down on us. I mean, have you taken a look at the equipment that the Department of Homeland Security has, these armored vehicles, you know, the mechanized war machine that they have? You know, that doesn't include all the other government agencies. And you ever notice when there's a problem, how they fight over whose turf it is? This is our own government, you know, under the same flag, but they're, but they're still fighting over turf. Oh no, this is ATF. Oh no, this is FBI. Oh no, this is DH. It's ridiculous. It's, or, 
you know, FBI comes in, pushes the state and local people aside. You know, we're here, we'll take over. This is our case now. I mean, it's ludicrous. It really is. But I urge you, go to your local library, get a copy of How Do You Kill 11 Million People. Literally, you can read this book. It took me about 30 minutes. But it's just, it, it's a wake-up call. It really is. And it was interesting. How did I even hear about this book? Well, I was driving through the uh, Redwoods in California, and there's only a couple stations that come through. And one of them was Christian Radio Station. I believe it was Saturday morning early about 7 o'clock in the morning when I was driving, maybe 8 o'clock. And... They almost read the book on air, and they were talking about this. And that's how I said, so as soon as I got back, you know, I ordered a copy so I could pick it up at my local library. I urge you to do the same, because, I mean, here in America, it's this tough times ahead. And I think that if we don't do something soon enough, we the people, that is, we got to do something. I'm not exactly sure what, other than do things that unite people, unite your neighborhood, uh, you know, unite your community together. Um, we don't have a chance. The government's just passing all kind of laws, executive orders. They want to take over our food, tell you you can't grow things. You know, if you have so much food stored up, you're a terrorist. I mean, absurdity. All the while, they're, you know, they're lying to us. Remember that. Because I sure hope it's not too late. Once again, how do you kill 11 million people by Andy Andrews?